The school Chicago's children deserve is important because I think at its core, it values um, the input of school staff, of parents, of community, of students, empowering every, everyone who has a stake in, in public education to come together, to work together, to really um, envision the school district and the schools that, that Chicago's children deserve. So the schools Chicago's students deserve we put out in 2012. We wrote the first one to present a positive program of what works in education. We were looking at the education system in CPS, looking at the resources that our students had access to, looking at the problems that they had both um, at, at their homes, in the communities, with the underinvestment in Chicago that's been happening for decades, looking at those issues and how they intersect with what's happening in the schools. We had been doing battle with people we consider trying to destroy education and we wanted to present ideas about what we saw as what was really necessary. Smaller class size, a well-rounded curriculum. We wanted to have legitimacy for our fight. There's a lot of propaganda out there. There's a lot of untruths about teachers, um, about the education systems. That piece exposed everything that CPS was doing, from oversizing our classrooms, to cutting our programs, to defunding our schools, to taking the resources out of our buildings and putting the resources somewhere else, to not allow uh, parents' uh, involvement. Um, and so that piece right there was monumental for us. And so we put that document out to really give a uh, backbone to our campaign for the teacher's contract, to make sure that people knew that our teachers' working conditions or our students' learning conditions. I, I'm not entirely sure if anyone believed that we were not going to go on strike. Um, people were um, tired of the disinvestment, uh, the, the lack of support for educators, the loss of black educators, um, the um, inability of the city to recognize the value of public education. And this had gone on for some time. And I just think the lead up to that, that anticipated strike, to be quite frank with you, um, was full of hope. Um, it was full of promise that people recognized that, that our generation owed it to those who made education possible for us because we recognized that as much as we were hopeful in that moment, we knew that the fight for the schools that all of our children deserve um, would not end, that fight would not end um, in that action. Um, but that action did set us up for the fights that obviously were ahead of us. One of the big wins that we had was at the state level where we were able to get the state legislature to actually understand and see the value in resources in education. And so the new funding law that was passed in many ways mirrors what we had in the school Chicago students deserve. It talks about how students need access to arts, music, clinicians. There are lots of good things in that law. The problem with that law, of course, is that there's no funding for it currently. So in a way, we've changed the conversation about what should happen in education. We have to continue to push to make sure that those resources end up in our schools. One of the things that we're going to be fighting for in our contract is a continuation of sustainable community schools. This was something we won in the last contract. There's 20 schools that are part of this program and um, the sustainable community schools get closer to being the kind of schools that Chicago students deserve. Our CTU members, our CTU leadership has really stepped up to take a role to also educate um, the city and Chicagoans in general about the, the current state of public education. What we're presenting in this current version of School Chicago Students Deserve, where we look at things that have happened since 2012, things that have changed, things the union has fought for and won, and things that are different, new challenges that we face in this period. And I think that what's occurring now is that staff, teachers, paras, clinicians, parents, students, community, we're really um, at a different point where we're real, there's a lot of collaboration to put forward our vision of what we want um, Chicago schools to look like.